Feel like you are being unproductive with your emails? Do you think there is a better way? There are a lot of tricks to increase your productivity with Gmail. Processing your emails faster increases your time to focus on other important things. Emails tend to take up a lot of time. Let's go over some key features and tips for Gmail. Let's get into it. Tip number one, email templates. Do you send a lot of repeated emails? Cold emails? I would always recommend customizing cold emails specific to the person you're trying to contact. For saving the basic email structure, you can use templates. To find templates, select the gear icon on the top right and click on See All Settings. Once in Settings, select the tab that says Advanced. Here you can have the option to enable templates. Select this now. Don't forget to press Save. Next, when you draft up a repeated email like this one here, you can click on the three dots on the bottom right. Select Templates and click Save the Draft as a Template. Here you can name this template to whatever you want. Use naming appropriately so it is easy to find when you have created a lot of templates. Close this email draft to test this. Select Compose again, click the three dots, and then Templates. You will see our previous email template is now displayed here. This is a great time saver for sure. Tip number two, nudges. Have you forgotten to respond and follow up on an email? We all have many times. Using nudges helps with this. To turn this on, click settings. Under the general tab, scroll down until you see nudges. Toggle on both options for emails to reply and for emails to follow up on. Over time, these emails will get bumped up to the top of your inbox as a reminder. Tip number three, undo send. Forgot to fully complete an email before sending? Notice there were grammar errors just as you sent it? This can be frustrating. But with undo send, this can help eliminate some stress if you sent an email on accident. Click the top right gear icon for settings and press see all settings. Once you're in settings under the general tab, you will see undo send near the top. I would recommend changing this from five seconds to 30 seconds. I typically keep mine at 30 seconds just in case. The standard will be five seconds, which I just find is not long enough. And don't forget to save settings. Create an example message and send it. On the bottom left, it will pop up with saying the message sent and you have the option to undo it. When you press undo, it will reopen the same email you just sent and you can edit what you need. Tip number four, customizing your theme. You can change to the different themes in Gmail. If you work on the computer for long periods of time, you will notice the white background tends to be hard on the eyes. Clicking settings, and slightly down you will see themes. Press view all. Here you can pick a theme from picture themes, color themes, and even upload your own images. If you wish to select your own photos, you will need to upload an image to Google Photos, create an album inside of Google Photos, and when selecting my photos on the bottom left, it will be displayed here. I know this is, can be kind of confusing, so let me know in the comments below if you want me to create a quick video on this. Remember, you must be using the same Google account and an album must be created. Let's just select a stock picture. And here you can change the text background to light or dark by clicking here. You can even add a vignette to make the corners darker. You can also blur any background to make the emails pop out more. Don't forget to press save. Tip number five, vacation alert. Planning on going on vacation? Setting up a vacation automated alert is a great way to let the other person know you won't be accessing emails for a specific amount of time. To turn this on, click the gear icon and see all settings. Under the general tab, scroll down to the bottom and you can change everything here in the vacation responder. For example, if we are off for a week starting today, Simply add the first day you will be away and select the last day here as well. Add in your subject, 
and type in your message. Obviously, you can customize this to whatever you need. You can also send this message to people in your contacts only if you want. Don't forget to save changes. Tip number six, changing your reading pane. If you're like me, I like to have many readable options on one screen as I can. If you don't have multiple monitors, you can simply turn on the reading pane. To turn this on, click settings, scroll down near the bottom and select the reading pane. Once here, you can select different types of reading panes, including bottom or right of inbox. I prefer the right of the inbox so I can read emails more clearly. Now just click on any email and this will allow you to read and scroll down on the email as well as looking at your inbox at the same time. Pretty handy. Tip number seven, schedule send. This is a great way to remember keynotes from business conversations you have had at an earlier meeting. If you're like me, I tend to forget some important information as the day goes on. You can compose an email and choose to send it later. It's a good idea to send emails later on and not right after the meeting. To do this, click compose message. Next to send, select the down arrow. You'll need to have a recipient for this to work. Select the specific date and time and press schedule send. Tip number eight, labels shown only when unread. It's a good idea to use labels to keep yourself organized. If you have a large list of labels for different things related to your email, it can be overwhelming having all of these labels shown on the left menu. Click the three dots next to any label and press show if unread. If you have any emails that are unread, this will automatically hide until you have received an unread email for this label. Right click any email and label this to new label one. This is the one we hid. Once this has added an unread email, this will pop up again on the left side menu, just like this. Tip number nine, creating filters. Do you like receiving emails for coupons and other rewards? Find it annoying when it crowds your inbox? You can create filters for specific email groups. For example, these emails I have received from DocuSign are annoying when they're in my inbox. Click an email and the three right dots that are next to the reply button. Click this and press filter messages like this. What you can do here is anything from this user can be filtered. You can add keywords as well. For this example, I will just add a discount keyword as this is typically what emails are sent with offers. This finds all emails with the keyword discount from this user. Click search options and press create filter. Press skip the inbox, click mark as read, and select other conversations that are similar to this. There are other options in here which may benefit you as well. Take the time to sort through some of these. Now press create filter. Emails from other platforms. Have multiple emails in different platforms? Google simplifies this by combining all of your emails in one place. This definitely speeds up time so you don't have to keep switching accounts. Click settings on the top right, click accounts and import tab. Select import. You'll now be asked to sign into this other account with a pop-up window. It may take some time to import everything from this other account. All of this data will be displayed with a new label on the left side menu under inbox. This label will also be displayed in your main inbox to easily sort through tons of emails. There are a lot more tips to increase your productivity. If you like this video, let me know in the comments and I can create even more. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss another video. See you in the next one and thanks for watching.